This is Killer Willet. I guess you I can assume the Bucks and Kangaroo. Yeah. An out of control kangaroo turns on both of his handlers. It's an all out attack from a powerful animal that can kill with one kick. <laughs> Killer Willard, the boxing kangaroo, was the star of a traveling comedy show. Weighing close to 150 pounds, the male red kangaroo was an impressive six feet tall when standing fully erect. Willard loved it so much, it turned into a comedy routine. Some say the training of wild animals is wrong, but what looks like boxing actually comes naturally to kangaroos. He has a very large diet. Willard had been with the Fawcett's for more than two years. Yeah. He's so mean. When the Boxing Kangaroo Act found itself in Cleveland, Ohio. This is Killer Willard, and this is my husband. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not fragile. Who fights him? Well, this is, it's crazy, an act. Just crazy people, or what? No, no, no. You this is an act. It's you, a comedy you, act. Oh, you don't you actually see? let people. No, we do not. No. <laughs> Before producers have time to pull the plug, Willard goes berserk. Tony and Irene Fawcett go down hard. Tony's taken the brunt of the kangaroo's kick. Kangaroos are able to kick with great force because of their thick tails. The tail is made up of bones called chevrons, surrounded by long muscles strong enough to hold its entire body weight. A kangaroo will actually use it as a tripod when delivering devastating blows with its clawed hind feet. <laughs> Kangaroos can jump an astonishing 10 feet high. And now, all that power in those legs is being unleashed as Willard slams his hind legs into Tony's lower body. Amazingly, Tony isn't seriously hurt. 